Today's video, we're going to be talking about why Gwen Doozy went from 100k to 200k in less than 24 hours. So, just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to be talking about a few things that uh, have popped up as of recently. Uh, some of these are going to be Gwenduzi doubling in price in less than 24 hours. We'll be talking about 88s going up to very high prices compared to all the other fodder who didn't rise as much. And basically we'll be telling you guys why this happened. I guess it's a little bit of a, a lesson about trading. So to start off, I might as well teach you guys what well, I'll tell you guys what happened. So today what happened was Gwenduzi went from where can we find it? Yesterday. He went from 106k all the way up to over 200 k It says 176 there. In the best part of about, again, about 20 hours. Uh, and this kind of took everyone by shock. Everyone was like, ah, oh, is he being pumped because of TikTok? Is he rising loads because of investors? Um, and there's a pretty interesting reason why, in my opinion, I think this has happened. And um, this actually also connects to why we saw 88 rise a lot yesterday before SBC. So before the SBC, uh, 88 went from, if I find Sunday's price, basically about 29k. And before the SBC came out, they went up to about 34. Uh, they would have been achievable, I think, at 28. So these went from about 28 to 34k before the SBC came out. Uh, allow you to make yourself about, what is that, 6k difference. Allowing yourself to make about 4.5k per card without the SBC even coming out. Uh, which if we go and compare this to other ratings, we can see that this was really, really good. So again, they were buyable at about 28k, and then you've got 87s who, oh sorry, 87s are actually needed for the SBC. So, I mean, I can show you 87s before the SBC came out. Uh, they were 19k, and then before the SBC needed them, they went up to 21. So they went 19 to 21, which is 2k, whereas the 88s went from, was it, 28 to 34, which was 6k. So even as a percentage, you get a much higher percentage. Um, and again, this actually comes back to why Gwen Doozy went up a lot. And this is all to do with trends in the market. It's all to do with trends either from previous years or from previous SBCs. Now, in my opinion, the reason Gwen Doozy did really well is not because of this card. The reason that Gwen Doozy did really well is because of this card. Because anyone who's into trading or anyone who's very aware of the market will be aware that this card absolutely skyrocketed last year. Now, this card went from 110k to 260k in generally about a week and a half. In fact, in two weeks, this card rose about 170k, which for a card that is 110k is absolutely insane. Uh, this was because there was a lot of demand. I think the following two promos sucked. I think they were, um, what was it? The, the orange one where they're live. Uh, I think it's num not numbers up, uh, headliners. Promo sucked, no one cared about them, and they kept rising. And on top of that, he was very well demanded. Well, I think because this only happened last year, and this was generally one of the biggest rises, it's a little bit, if you, a little bit like if you guys remember Vinicius Jr. from last year. Vinicius Jr. from last year just rose and rose and rose and rose. Which meant if we had like a Vinicius Jr. or if we had a very popular inform in week one, people would also expect this sort of trend to happen. Um, other players this has happened with, it's happened with St. Maxims in the past. It's happened with Renato Sanchez. Obviously, Renato Sanchez last year, I believe, had an inform that did extremely well, which means any time that we get an inform Renato Sanchez, believe it or not, we're going to see the same sort of thing happen. It was actually two years ago with Renato Sanchez, but it was very notorious. This card went from 68k up to 222. So you can see that in the past, some of these players have absolutely exploded. Well, because this happens very rarely, again, like people kind of remember about it, especially if we're just talking about last year. So because Gwen Doozy did this, I mean, just look at that graph, it's uh, very, very steep. I personally believe that a lot of people were applying that to happening to this guy. Because again, well, once again, if we go back, this card went from 110 all the way up to 320, um, or even up to about 300 in about two, three weeks. And I think some people thought that this would happen this year. Especially bear in mind, this was a completely natural rise, uh, potentially slightly investors, but not too badly. This card went from 106 to about 132 before anything got too crazy, okay? Like he went from 126 to 132, 
So again, that's a decent little 26k rise just because people wanted him. People were holding off till Monday to buy him and then they went and bought him after the SBC. So we saw this quite natural rise. And then about 9am, theoretically maybe when Europe woke up, he went insane. Um, again, he went from like 132 or 134 to 142 in an hour and then 142 to literally 200k in an hour. And we can tell that he was eventually going to stop rising. It's one of these things that you can only tell the peak in the hindsight. Because who the hell is going to say that he's going to go from 106 to 160? That's already an insane rise. But, you know, he went to 170, then 180, 190. And again, the, the top that I picked, like, clocked him out was 200. Now, the reason I think this happened was people saw the rebound that naturally happened. 106 to 132. And they thought, oh, this is like last year where the card is super demanded. And I think what happened was people went, okay, well, last year he went up 200k. He's only up 40k at the moment. There's probably still a bat, you know, a buck in it. Or people have been holding off buying Guendouzi. They knew what happened last year and they go, oh, I need to buy it before it gets too crazy. And some people had that thought at 200k. They, even though he would have been up 100k, some people thought, oh, well, he'll still go to 300k because that's what he did last year. Last year he didn't say, so I need to get into him. And I believe this is why we saw this happen with Guendouzi, but no other players, is because of how insane this happened last year. Now, that's that's about that. Guendouzi, again, will just slowly rise till Thursday. He'll follow the trends of all the other players. Uh, he went up to 200, then crashed. Again, congratulations to those who bought 100 and sold at 200 within literally 20 hours. Now, how on earth am I going to refer this back to the 88? Well, the reason I'm going to refer this back to the 88 will come down to an SBC that we had in the past. Now, so far this year, we've seen Fodder do quite well for SBCs. We've seen 85s be needed, and they did well. We saw 86s be needed, they did pretty well. We saw 87s be needed, uh, literally just yesterday, and they did pretty well. But nothing was more notorious than the rise of 88. 88s went from about, if I'm not wrong, about 22k to 48k, even pushing up 89s and so on, because of not this SBC. I need to go and find the one that was released before that. It was because of one of the hero SBCs. And because they had a more notorious rise than any of the any of the fodder, here we go, 388. And because they had a more notorious rise than any of the other any other fodder, people thought, okay, hero SBC is leaked. What did extremely well in the past? Yes, 88. And once again, I'll show you guys and redraw your memory if you can't remember. Tony Kroos went from the best part of 28k all the way up to 58. And people thought, well, that happened last time. Surely that happens this time. That didn't happen this time because they changed the requirements. But because of a pattern, just like how the pattern of Gwendouzi banged in previous years, people went, well, 88's banged with previous hero SBCs. Let's all invest in 88's, which literally meant them rise about 6, 7k before the SBC came out. And again, this is literally just referring to people remembering patterns and those patterns making, you know, more favourable trends happen than others. Again, 85s might work really well, but they haven't worked really well for ages, which meant people didn't think about buying them with a Hero SBC. I'm sure for the next Hero SBC, you'll see 87s rise nicely, and you'll see 88s rise nicely, because those two are the like two most recent fodder that's done quite well. So the next time the market crashes, 87s and 88s is probably your best bet for pre-hype. I'd still say 88s will probably do better than 87s, because 87s have only really gone from 21... Uh, oh, sorry, 19 to about 25, where the 88s went 28 to 58. That's a 30k rise. That's a, an absolutely insane rise. So that is basically all we're uh, all we're saying. So next time a really popular player comes out again, it's it's there's a very small pool of special cards that have had special cards do insane in the uh, in the past. Again, some of the recent ones being uh, Sanchez, being Vinicius Junior. Uh, I'm sure I say Max and potentially have it, but yeah, Guendouzi obviously. Very, very nicely. A uh, weird one, actually. You had um, Saliba, the, the Salada, or something like that. That was a French right back who got a foot birthday card. Was uh, Did very, very well. But, yeah, that's basically just going to hopefully explain the Gwendouzi rise today. Again, I don't believe it was a TikTok pump and dump. I do believe it was generally people getting caught up in the trends that we've seen in previous years. Um, a little bit like how people got caught up buying 88s, thinking they'll do really well for the Hero SBC. And then, uh, obviously, they weren't needed and they were crashed. On top of that, again, when Forda next drops this Friday, 87s and 88s are probably going to be the best for pre-hype, as long as there's a new hero and icon SBC uh, leaked. So, um, yeah, hopefully this has explained to you guys a few trends that we've seen as of recently, and just taught you guys a little bit about when previous trends happen, 
people associate those trends with up and coming SBCs or they'll associate previous years promos with current promos. I'm sure if we get another Gwen Doozy this this year before maybe the team of the season, you'll probably see people do the same thing where Monday they'll just start getting panic bought. Or you'll see, you know, these cards will rebound way more before the actual demand because people are anticipating there being so much demand because there has been in previous years. But yeah, hopefully I haven't made this too complicated and I've just explained to you guys a few trading trends. Again, I've, I've been trading for like eight, nine years now. I've, you know, I've seen it all. So um, yeah, hopefully I can share my experience with you guys rather than leave you guys just sitting here blaming TikTok all the time. But thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.